number seven. Three more questions for the day. Number eight. I have 168 centimeters in feet and inches. And I think I've done this problem before as well. Um, we can do this again. Uh, what we have to do is, again, I have this here is in centimeters is in the metric system and feet and inches is in the imperial. So I have to figure out a conversion factor um, for us to figure out those guys here. And I'm measuring it in length. So I have to figure out some type of conversion factors to, uh, to for both of these systems here. So I want to convert centimeters into inches first. So what I would do is I know that one centimeter here, the conversion factor for this is 0 0.393701 inches. So if I were to convert this, I simply have 168 centimeters. I'm going to multiply it by the conversion factor, right? And again, in one centimeter, which is going to be on, I have 0 0.393701 inches here. These centimeters are going to cancel out. So I'm left with whatever 168 times the conversion factor. So 168 times 0 0.393101 or 701, sorry, 701, which will give me 66.14 uh, inches. And what we can do with this is we can convert this into feet and inches, right? So I know now, because I'm in both the empirical system, I know that one foot would equal 12 inches. So knowing this conversion, I can figure out this conversion as well, right? So I can say that 66.14 inches times in one inch or in one foot, I want, I want to come beat here, I have 12 inches, right? So I can say one foot here, I have 12 inches. So these inches again cancel out. I get 66.14 times one over 12, or I can say 66.14 divided by 12 here, which is going to equal 5.5 something. 5.51 feet. So instead of saying this, if I want my answer in feet and in inches, I can say that I have 5.51 feet, or I can say 66 inches, or if I want to say foot and inches, what I can do is I know that um, 5 feet is 60 inches, right? So 5 feet here is equal to 60 inches because I know that 1 foot is 12 inches, right? I simply just multiply both of these sides by 5 to get me the equation on top. So I can say that um, therefore 168 cm is going to equal 5 feet and whatever is left over. So 66.14 minus 60 would be 6.14 inches. So 5 foot 6.14 inches. And this here is the answer for this problem. So again, they what they did here was they did so, uh, the inches, which is correct, and they did feet, which is also correct. So this solution is correct. And then I took a step further and I calculated in feet and inches. So the solution is correct. Good analysis. Can also express 168 centimeters as 5 foot and 6.14 inches. So this is a great solution.